Hello, my name is Anton. I represent the Gears company. Today we will assemble together an accessory for board games from U Gears Games Collection. This model, created for real lovers of the game world classic, is the ever popular accessory for rolled board games reimagined in a new unique fashion the Master Screen. This convenient and beautiful looking device is easy to assemble. Let's begin. Unpack the box and take off the polyethylene. Open the box. Inside we can see the following. The manual, boards, and accessories. Rubber bands, wax and sandpaper. Let's open the manual and start with the first step. Find parts number 1, 2, 3 and 4 on boards number 1. Place them exactly as it is shown in the manual. Pay attention. The two pins in part number 3 should be on the left. Now connect them all with parts number 5 and 6. They are the same everywhere. You can also find them on board number 1. You need four parts number five and four parts number six. It is a bit hard to do without the waxing. The manual says that we need to wax them, so that's what we will do. Let's wax everything first, so then we can just assemble everything together. Adjust them carefully.
Press all the way down. Turn over and put rubber bands on the corners. We need four rubber bands for each of four corners. In a corner at the end, And same below. We can pull up a bit to avoid creating loops hanging behind. Now we assemble the second part the same way, but reversely, like in mirror view. Part number one was on the left there, so here we put it to the right. The second one just the same to the right. The fourth underneath. But the pins will be on the right. And the third part at the top, but the pins still on the right. Again, we connect everything with parts number 5 and 6. You can easily extract the parts. Without any additional force. Wax them as well. Now we connect our frame. Turn it over and put on four rubber bands again.
So we've got two such mirror frames. Next part, number seven. Which is on the first board. We also need a 5 mm rubber band. We need to cut two pieces, one third inches each. Measure one third inches. Now we also need two parts, number eight. Now pull the rubber band into part number seven. Insert part number eight. We should pull up a rubber band a bit, so it doesn't sag. We need two parts like this. We take one more part, number seven, and two parts, number eight. Now, insert the rubber band and parts number eight. Now insert the rubber band and parts number 8. Take out frame on the back side from the pins. Note that frame holders are on the front side. And put on the legs. Do the same on the other side. Ah. 
оделась. Вторая ножка. Отставим. Now take parts number nine, number ten. One part number nine on top and one at the bottom. Девять наверх, девять вниз. And two washers, number ten on top and two at the bottom. According to the manual, we need to wax these washers and pins that we put them on. On this frame, the fastening is located on the front side, and the pins on the left. Wax the pins. And trim each washer. Now we need to put it on with the cut part on the outside and the round part on the inside. And now the washer. Do the same from the bottom and now do the same with another part, just as it is shown in the manual. We take two parts, number nine. And washer number 10 again. Trim the washers. These places of fastening to the plywood that are left so they don't interfere with the washer's rotation. This is why it is better to do this now. Ply wax. Now I insert the parts just the same as I've done on the previous frame. Uh, 
Everything is assembled. We've done everything shown on the page of the menu. Next, we need parts number 11, 12, four of each. They are on board number two. Four parts number 11. And four parts number 12. Follow the manual to place the parts properly, relative to each other. Connect the parts just the same. Next, take two parts number 13. Insert them into our assembled unit. As shown in the picture. And cover with two parts number 12. We have to make two such parts. Right away, let's prepare two parts number 12 and two parts number 13. Ready? All pins should be waxed. It's better to remove wax residues right away. Now we will use a different unit with parts number 13 and 14. Part number 14 has to be at the bottom and number 13 on top. And cover them with part number 12. Wax the pins as well. Mm 
And the last part of this unit. Number 14 has to be at the bottom. And number 13 on top. Place them carefully to avoid mixing them up. And number 12 on top. Number 14 at the bottom. Number 13 on top. Let's finish the unit and wax everything. Now, let's assemble the ornament. Take parts number 15, number 16, 17 and 18 from board number 3. We have used all the parts from the board number 1, so we put it aside, and board number 2 as well. Take part number 15 from board number 3, and put it on the left. Part number 18 on the right. And part number 17 at the bottom. And part number 16 on top. Fit them together. Make sure that the cut has to be at the bottom. Like here. And six holes on the left side. Everything is correct. Connect everything with part number 5 and number 19. You can also find them on board number 3. Take four parts number 5 and four parts number 19. Wax all the pins. and start the assembly.
You don't need to press anything since everything fitted completely. Now? Put our earlier assembled unit C on top. And unit A at the bottom. One of two same parts. Here it is shown that the top rating <coughs> here it is shown that top rotating loop should have a ledge. Here it is. So we've done everything right. Put it aside. Take this part and put four rubber bands on it, as shown in the manual. Pay attention that loops should be on the back and the rubber bands on the front side. Now we also have to insert parts number 20 and 21. They are also on board number 3. Part number 20 has to be inserted with the longer side being vertical, as shown in the manual. Also insert part number 21. Longer side has to be vertical. Next, we take parts number 22 and 23. And check that protrusion is to our left. At the bottom, we insert part number 23. And put it on the loop. That is what it should look like. Parts number 24 and 25 are on board 6. We can insert them now. See how they should be located with the cut curl towards you.
we have to connect many pins with the cuts but do not hurry and do it very carefully next part number 25 we insert the same way with the cut curl towards you fitted everything together Parts number 28 are these eight parts on board number six. All parts from this page are on a board because only one board is indicated in the menu. Place the parts as shown in the menu. With the darker side facing you. Now connect two last parts. We need to wax two holes. Now turn it over and fit with the frame parts. Place the frame just as it is shown in the manual picture. Pins on the left and joins facing us. Put it in the cut. Fit properly and put part number 29 on top. We have done everything on this page. Let's turn it. Fit this frame on top. Now we need parts number 26 and 27. They're on board 6. Part 26. Она располагается should be placed with the cut curl to our right. Should be. 
fit and press till the end. Wax two pins on top of part number 27, which are on the sides. That will make the process easier. Also note the structure curl position. Carefully put it on top. Do not hurry. Fit the cut with the pins carefully. Connect parts number 26 and 27 with small pins, 28. Так, 26, Fit two washers number 30. At the bottom and on top. Before doing that, trim washers and wax them, as shown in the manual. Not fit with the pins? Two on top. And two at the bottom. We have finished this part. Everything moves and works properly. Next, we turn the frame so that the loops are to our right. Now we have to put moving part number 31, it can be found on board 6, on our already assembled unit. Так. 
And part number 22 as well. This one is on board number three. No need to wax anything here. Just place according to the manual. Install our moving part below. And cover with part number 22. Making sure that cut is away from us. Зажали до конца. Все есть. Оделось. И вот Now we've got this moving part in the unit. Just like in the manual. Turn the page and put the frame aside. Now let's assemble a new frame. We can find necessary parts on board number four. Parts 18 on the left, 15 on the right, and 17 part with protrusion facing downwards. We can fit it right away. And part 16 with the cut on top. Connecting them with parts 5 and 19. They are on board 3. You can use helper from board number 4 to extract the parts easier. Parts number 19 are also on board 4. This board is empty already. Just put it aside. Wax the pins to the joints. Connect the frame. Выскочил. 
Вот вставили, дожали все до конца. Теперь... Now let's put on the loops. At the bottom we use one loop. Of two same ones. On top loop. The upper part of which will overhang. Turn over and put on four rubber bands, as shown in the manual. Parts number 20 and 21 can be found on board number 3. With longer side being vertical, part number 20 has to be placed further from the loops. And part number 21 vertically, closer to the loop. Now let's use the helper. Take parts number 22 and 23. Note that the protrusion has to be on the right. Fit the part just as shown in the picture. Turn the page. Find parts number 32 and 33 on board number 7. Fit number 32 below. Placing it with the cut curl on the right facing us. Fit everything carefully, making sure not to damage anything.
In soul part number 33. We also need to wax the pins in advance. Carefully press everything all the way down. Now, let's put on our frame. Follow the instructions and fit all parts together. Fix it with part number 29 from board 7. Now, put parts number 34 and 35 on top. Check that the cut is on the left facing away from us. and fit on the frame. Next part number 35. Before fitting this part, wax all holes. Now we can fit it. After installing two bars, we have to insert two washers on top and two at the bottom, having waxed them in advance. Now our frame is ready. Take four parts on 30. Polish and wax them.
Install two on top. Turn over and put on two parts below. This page is over. Now we have to finish with our moving part below. Fit part number 37, previously having connected it with part number 36. Those parts can be found on board number 6. Fit them. Now let's connect it with our assembly unit and insert part number 22 from port number 3. Check that protrusion is on the right. And put it on. Everything is moving and working properly. This frame is assembled now. Now, take a white rubber band and cut it in half. Measure and cut two pieces, one third inches each. Take part number 38 from board number 5. We've got part number 38. Let's take a rubber band and check how to place them accordingly to the manual. Protrusion has to be in the top right. Insert rubber band through little cuts on the reverse side. Combine in the center. And fix the rubber band with part number 39. Insert the rubber band and fix with part 
Вот так это должно выглядеть, как на рисунке. Assemble another part number 38 in mirror view. Если у нас это сложно так, то это будет в зеркале. Точно так же. С оборота. Вставляем резинку. И фиксируем деталь номер 39. Вот так, аккуратненько зашла. We can see two mirror-looking parts and rubber bands on one side. Откладываем пока нас. Находим деталь. Let's find part number 41 on board number 5. And four parts 40 on board number 7. Они находятся на доске номер 7. Pay attention that the gears inscription should not be visible. Insert parts 40 in their places. выглядит как на инструкция на картинке инструкция тоже отставляем пока не в сторону и собираем деталь номер 40 take part number 42 and part number 43 from board number 6 деталь номер 42 43 Wax parts to make the assembly process easier. Wax everything where other parts will be inserted. Fit parts number 44 on the side. That's what we've got. Now let's take the unit that was assembled previously. Wax all pins as indicated in the manual. Готово. Берем нашу Take the part with the upper protrusion facing away from us. Который верхний выступ. And the rubber band being fully visible. Там видна полностью. И одеваем. 
Fit the side part to the back vertically. Make sure everything is in all the way. Now we have to insert part number 49. Let's place the previously assembled unit and install the second side part. Insert at the bottom, preliminarily adjusting the loop. This is what it looks like. This part can be opened. Prepare part number 46 from the board number 7. The cost should be on top. The pins need to be waxed. Make sure it is fully mirror-like and fit it. Well, it is not mirror-like. Check carefully. The four cuts for our shelves inside match. Direct the pin carefully with a knife. This is the part we have got. Now put on three parts number 47. They can be found on board number 5. Let's use the helper.
Here. This part is assembled. Turn it over. And insert four parts number 47 on the other side. Let's use the helper. Our board is empty, so we can put it aside so it doesn't interfere. If you have a hard time fitting the parts, wax them. We have finished here. And now we have to connect our central block. Now we can read the U-Gears Games inscription. Fit two sides frame. I want to draw your attention to the fact that loops should be facing us, and we can see fastening on the frames. Now the rubber bands, they should be inside. Pins should be waxed. Everything should fit very easily. We've got a small problem here. A rubber band came off. But we can fix it. Press till the end. Another way to check if everything was done correctly is that when the moving parts are below. The Uyghur's inscription should be readable. Our screen is assembled. We can open it. Or unfold. Now I will show you something special about this model. When closed, it looks like a big, nice book. But when open, it transforms into a screen. A special highlight of this model is Master's Dice Tower. After the game, it falls and snaps. With special locks. Mm -hmm. 
Thanks a lot for your attention. See ya.